taking a look at the structure of the atmosphere. So uh, you must have studied about atmosphere and the different layers of it. So any layer of the atmosphere, which is very close to the Earth's surface, uh, right until 50 kilometers uh, from the Earth's surface, is the troposphere, which consists of the ozone layer as well. The ozone layer is the layer which protects the uh, Earth and the human beings on it from the harmful ultraviolet radiations. Just above the ozone layer and troposphere is the stratosphere. This stratosphere is the layer which consists above the troposphere, has air in uh, decreasing density, uh, and so does mesosphere, then has there is the thermosphere, and finally the exosphere. Thermosphere is known to have uh, those north lights, north pole lights, and also ionic radiations. Right, so we've taken a look at how the atmosphere is structured. Now we're going to focus our attention mainly on troposphere and stratosphere because that is where the majority of the pollution takes place. The tropospheric pollution and stratospheric pollution. Let's start by looking at tropospheric pollution. It is caused due to two factors, the gaseous air pollutants and the particulate pollutants. So gaseous air pollutants are all the gases that cause pollution, whereas particulates are the particles which cause pollution. For the troposphere, gaseous air pollutants include the oxides of sulfur, nitrogen, carbon, along with gases like hydrogen sulfide, which you might uh, get from rotten food, especially eggs, hydrocarbons, ozone and other oxidants.